Trinity Exposed number 24. Trinity triplets? Sure, why not? Um, I'm going to put up a picture here, a Roman Catholic drawing of uh, three Jesus triplets. And this is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And the way you can tell the difference is by looking at their shirt there, the little emblem that they have on their shirt. That's how you can tell them apart. Other than that, they're identical twin or identical triplets, excuse me. Uh, so here's the picture. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, they're just stepping on these little headless children with wings. You know, that's that's in the scripture somewhere. I know it has to be someplace, yeah. But uh, <laughs> absolutely absurd. Unless you believe in the Catholic Trinity, well then, you know, maybe it, it'll look like something like that or some of the other things like the one that appears at the beginning of the video, the little intro to these videos. Sure, why not? But uh, you say, well, nobody believes that they're twins or triplets or anything else. Uh, not so. In doing some research, I found that, uh, you know, Stephen Anderson, I was going to say pastor, but, you know, Stephen Anderson, the crazy wingnut, actually teaches that God the Father and the Son are, quote, identical twins. Um, now, that's a trick when you can get the father, a father and a son to be identical twins. Um, yeah. So, I made this for people over at our Patreon page, but I'm going to post it here. You can watch it. Here you go. All right, done some research here today. Um, arguments against the biblical Godhead, and I'm watching whatever I can. No, I shouldn't say whatever I can find because there's lots of stuff out there. But I thought I saw Anderson had a bunch of uh, things defending the papal Trinity. The, you know, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the three persons, and all the Catholic terminology. And so I'm watching down through these things. And he says something in here. I just I laugh and I thought I gotta share this with everybody. This is this is hilarious. Um, listen to this. Persons that make up one God. That's what the Trinity teaches. Now, what Jesus is saying here when he says, "If you've seen me, you've seen the Father," is simply that Jesus Christ is the express image of His person. Jesus Christ, the Bible tells us, is the image of the invisible God. What does it mean to be the image of? It means that you look the same as. Okay, so for example, we have identical twins in our church. And if someone were to ask me, you know, well, what does John look like? Show me John. And I said, well, you know, if you've seen Jesse, you've seen John. Why? Because they look the same. Okay, they're identical twins. And so when the Bible says that Jesus is the express image of his person, it means that if you want to know what God the Father looks like, Jesus looks the same way. Now, obviously, with identical twins, they might have a different hairstyle. They might have different uh, features that are slightly different, even though the DNA is the same. But when it comes to Jesus Christ, he's the express image of the Father's person, meaning that if you've seen Jesus, you've seen the Father. <laughs> So, look, Jesus and the Father are identical twins. Okay, so, you know, we get up there to heaven, and we're going to be walking around, walk over to the Lord and say, uh, you know, I really appreciate you dying on the cross for me, and and, uh, and and he'll say, I'm the Father, I'm not Jesus, Jesus is over there. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. You know, you got to wear name tags, I guess, to differentiate which one is which, you know. Is that the Father or is that Jesus? I don't know which one. They're identical twins. So... <laughs> identical twins um, uh, or it could be that the image of the father is Jesus Christ meaning Jesus is the body <laughs> no, they're identical twins <laughs> oh my word it's amazing what people can come up with when they don't have the Holy Spirit in them. Uh, I mean if you if you're totally new to the ministry here if you just recently got saved you don't know about Stephen Anderson He's one of the worst heretics out there. Uh, no repentance uh, for salvation. No changed life afterwards. He teaches that Jesus burned in hell. I've been exposing this guy for years. He is a. He's been raised up to make Bible-believing Christians look bad. That's why he gets national uh, and international news media attention. Um, he's a very wicked man. But just you know, you can you can see when he tries to explain the thing, he kind of pauses for a minute and thinks, "How can I explain this?" They're identical twins. So I just thought I'd share that with everybody. Pretty funny.